everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. Typically, if you jump on this channel and you see a bunch of orange, I'm doing a Matchbox Showcase, but that is not the case. This is Hot Wheels, and this burnt Spectraflame orange are Hot Wheels mail-in store exclusives, all of the collector edition cars. I've got one, two, three, four, five of six. I showcased the first one of this series quite a while ago when Mattel sent it to me. It is the Ford Bronco. We're going to put this over here and we're going to open each one of these to join that family. This family is complete because Mattel sent me the last two, the Kroger exclusive mail-in and the GameStop exclusive mail-in. The Kroger event's happening now. The GameStop event just happened uh, on Saturday. Of course, there are windows to mail those in. I'll um, leave links or you can go to links uh, for to mail in or to get those models. But the other three I didn't have, and they were sent to me by Lamley partner J Car Diecast. I have done features with James over at J Car, including from the convention where he talked about the ins and outs of the convention and room to room trading, if you remember. And he is a Lamley partner, and he was nice enough to fill in the gaps that I had. And so this video is brought to you by our friends at J Car Diecast, and there's a link to their store down below. You definitely, and I promise you, you want to visit that store for sure. So we're going to open all five of these. The two Zamex from Walmart. This uh, Mustang is a, was the Target exclusive. Like I said, I think the Bronco was the final Kmart event exclusive. I could have that mixed up, so correct me if I'm wrong. Kroger, like I said, and then GameStop. These cars are numbered. You can see that. They go with a theme, and then they'll run with that. So this was this orange racing theme it's typically a hot wheels racing theme that we've seen this bronco was number one kind of a cool model always premium castings typically castings you only see in premium series like car culture or rlc or that sort of thing uh, but they have some fun with these and uh, we've got a whole array of models from this case so we are going to start with number one i'll start by getting rid of the uh, protector we are not going to need those Roll that off to the side, and here we go. Actually, this is number two, I should stand corrected. It is the Dairy Delivery. I'm gonna show you, I'll show you the backs of all of these cars just so you have them. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy on them, but here you go. You'll see an E-Sheet image, or at least what? One, two, three, four, five E-Sheet images. You'll have some details on the back. I don't know if it says what store that these are exclusive to. I, uh, I think uh, they don't do that for, as we can, we'll tell in a little bit later on, but there it is, Zamek Edition 2019, that will tell you it is Walmart, because they're the ones that are exclusive Zamaks. So while it's not orange, you can see that the, um, the decos are very similar. The number one right there, the number two right there, Hot Wheels logo with the stripe in the background. So Walmart gets the Zamek, because that's Walmart, they can do what they want. No orange, no orange, hints of orange on this one, just red, blue, and Zamac. Red line tires on this one. It's a heavy, heavy casting. And this is really throwback. The dairy delivery, when I first started collecting in the mid 2000s, was such a popular casting. I don't want to say it's lost its luster per se, but you just don't see it as much. So it's kind of nice to see this one uh, make a little bit of a comeback as the number two exclusive. Uh, as part of the Collector Series in 2019. All right, another Zamac, the number three model. It is the Chevy Silverado, to be specific. I think it has uh, Chevy Silverado Off-Road, is what they call it. This one uh, this one came from the factory sealed set from J-Car, and I'm glad he sent me the one that had the bit of the blister mishap, as you can see, because uh, we're going to open them up, and I tell... All the people that do send models for showcase that uh, if you got something damaged, you definitely send that one because the cards are not going to survive. The factory sealed sets, they get these series. I think Walmart sells them and you can get these as part of that. Um, there's the details on the back, the cool images on the back. And this is the Chevy Silverado Offroad. I think this is the third version of this casting, maybe second. We had the lowered version. This is actually a different casting from the lowered version that had a Mustang in the back. Um, lifted, but it's a slightly smaller casting and maybe slightly updated, but really cool. I'm trying to remember if we've had this one. I know it debuted in, uh, what was it, Red Line? I can't remember what the, what the uh, Red Line? Uh, Heritage, I think is what it called. 
And then I don't know if we've had a second version. So this is either the second or third version of this casting. You guys will clearly tell me. You see the hints of orange in this Zamac version, as you can see, compared to the um, to the Bronco. So uh, you've got the orange showing up there, and then it really hits uh, pretty dynamically in this one, the Target exclusive. I don't know if I could call the 84 Mustang SVO my favorite of this series, but I do love that it has the new real riders. I guess they're not new anymore, but it does, these do look so cool on the Mustang. We'll uh, talk about those in a second. Great artwork on this one. The SVO is a little bit different than the, what is it, the 92 Mustang, the, fo the other Fox body. This is an earlier Fox body casting. The casting itself actually came out after the uh, 92 Mustang, but it is it represents the 84 SVO. You can tell by the back uh, spoiler over the window. Um, okay, this one, I love the orange color. I love the red line, six-spoke reel riders, the TE27, inspired, quote-unquote. It says mailman on the back, very cool. I really, really dig this casting, and this is a great version. I just love the wheels on that one. Very, very cool model. There's the back. I didn't show that. So there's the back of that cool casting, the Target exclusive. All right, and here's the most recent ones. I think some people are getting the Dodge 330 at this point. I'm not entirely sure. If not, this one did come from Mattel, and they will be coming. Great choice. For a casting. Here is the artwork. 64 Dodge 330. There's the art on the back. And here is the model. Same style number five, except this one sits on the back. They'll, they'll change around some things, I think, to fit the style of the casting that they're using. But you can see the window trim is there. The back is totally detailed. I think these are full premium. And this one has an opening hood as well. Um, I just think this is Great, I love the Steelys. All of them, this one, I don't know if all of them have, no, the truck doesn't have the red line tires on it. Neither does the Bronco, but the rest of them do. Love this one with the Steelys. This is a, one of those kind of underrated castings that uh, maybe not a lot of people are familiar with. I think it debuted in Garage, if I remember correctly, and we've seen it a few times since. But you could see this one maybe popping up in uh, car culture at some point. All right, the GameStop exclusive. Also sent to me by Mattel. I'm a bit of a sucker for this casting. I don't have them all because there's some decos. But actually, no, there's two different versions of the 70 Chevelle delivery. There's actually the 70 Chevelle wagon, which debuted in the basic range. And the 70 Chevelle delivery, I think, was made. It's a variation of that casting. Just really, all it doesn't have is the... All that's different is that it doesn't have this rear windows. It's more of a delivery panel style vehicle. There's the art Looks really, really good. I love the sport wagon style, muscle wagon. I mean, anything that's wagon related, I'm going to go nuts for. I've always been a big fan, and this one looks so good. On the Trans Am style wheels, this is number six. This orange is really burnt. I really like it. I think we've only had this casting in pop culture. So it's one that has, you know, as a delivery style, they have a little bit more real estate to put some of that art that they'll do on, part, on pop culture. Maybe this one showed up in uh, that delivery series as well, but uh, I cannot remember. But there you go. We have a full set. Maybe some of you do as well, or you're waiting to complete it through GameStop or uh, and Kroger, but those models will be coming. You'll have to do the mail-in. So if you don't have them, I would go to HotWheelsCollectors.com if you're looking for the details on these last two because those windows are open. It'll give you all the details. You don't have to specifically participate in the event. But for GameStop, you're going to have to go to GameStop and buy models there. I think the cases are sold out online. Um, same thing with Kroger. Just go buy the models. Make sure you have the right UPC codes on the back. You can send in the card back, send in the shipping and handling and the receipts, and you'll get these models sent to you, and you can complete this set. The rest of them, I think, are gone. So go to JCar, go to eBay if you need to, and find those models. But many, many thanks to James at JCar for showcasing or sending these so I can showcase them for you. It's a really cool set to collect. It's nice to see them together. Thank you, everybody. Bye.